Hey guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back, welcome back. In this video, I will shed some light on the lighting I constructed for the nook. For the first light, I'm going to give a shout out to two YouTubers, Bentley House Miniatures for teaching me how to make real wax miniature candles, and James Henry for detailing how he made a twinkling starry sky. After watching the tutorial at Bentley House Miniatures, I made myself a set of miniature wax candles with a crayon like she showed. I hope I did this right. If I did it wrong, <laughs> please let me know what I did wrong. But I watched it and then I made these. I think they turned out okay. And then I was thinking after I had made these, how cool it would be if they actually lit up and even flickered. Of course, once that idea was in my brain, nothing else would do. They had to flicker, they had to light up. So I tried an experiment by combining a, another tutorial after I had watched James Henry make a twinkling sky. I heated up this pin to make a hole through the center of each candle. I dismantled a flickering tea light from the dollar store to get the LED. And then for the glowing flickering wicks, I used what James used to make his stars, which is this fiber optic filament. You might even have one of those fiber optic lamps in a closet or kids room where you could snip off a couple of strands. I won't tell. If not, you can always get some on Amazon. I think they sell links long enough to reach Uranus and back for like eight bucks. Uranus, Uranus, you know what I mean. Then I soldered the ends of the LED light, and this is a flickering one, onto some wire so that I could hook it up to a battery pack. I'm wiping off the flux with a damp rag and checking it again to make sure it works. Next, I take a piece of shrink tube just to kind of make a funnel for the light. You could also use electrical tape. Now I'm just taking some more shrink tube. Again, you can use tape, but the shrink tube goes over the connections and it protects them but tape works good too and now i'm just testing to make sure everything still works <laughs> i'm taping those two pieces of filament together with some electrical tape and i'm going to put it in the funnel and now i am sanding off about the last inch or so james said that it helps it to glow instead of just come out the end lastly i feed those fibers up through the middle of the candles and let's check it out in the dark so now my candles flicker. It's like magic. If you don't need your candles to light up, just glue in a couple of little pieces of dark thread in the holes on top of the candles for little burnt wicks. I think it looks great. Let's make a ceiling fixture. This is a piece of bezel wire that I am soldering shut. It's about three inches long. And I have a piece of chipboard that I painted gold little circle that I cut a slot out of the middle of it so the wires would fit through. And now I'm just dotting on some of that UV resin so that I can attach that brass ring to the chipboard circle. Once that was all set up, I next took a piece of brass stripping and formed it around a dowel rod to make a ring. And I'm going to solder that closed and this will form as a collar to connect the lamp to the ceiling and hide the wires. And I'm going to do the same thing with this and use that UV resin to connect the brass ring to that chipboard circle where the wires will be fed through. It also goes under the UV light. Now I'm going to string that through. This dome light piece is just an LED pre-wired bulb that I encased in resin using a silicone half circle mold. I thought I had that on camera. I do not. <laughs> and then I was able to glue them both together with some super glue and it's ready to hang. Next for the wall sconce. This is a thin piece of chipboard oval that I painted gold and punched a hole in 
and this is a little resin glass shade that I made by using the top of this bottle to make a silicone mold out of. I have some silicone putty, but you can also use little glass bottles or little vials and it kind of look like a little oil lantern. Really anything that your light bulb will fit in. You'll also need a little bead cap. I chose this tulip shaped one and it has a hole on the bottom that has to be big enough to fit a piece of wire that you can bend into a little arm. And it also has to fit, fit your wires through there too. I'm gonna use another of these pre-wired LEDs. This one is a dollhouse light, I think. And I stripped off some of the coating of the wire to make sure it works. I'm going to feed that through and also make sure that the arm fits inside as well. Now I'm going to use my new best friend, which is this UV resin. It's so fast. And I'm going to fit the light and the arm through that bottom hole. Sure you are, Nick. Got to get it all situated. And then I'm going to take the skewer and paint some of that UV resin around the edge just to secure everything and pop that in the lamp with a gloved hand. <laughs> Voila, so great. Now I'm going to take that little resin shade that I made out of my homemade mold and put some of the UV resin around the outside, put that inside that little bead cap and let it also cure. So that was fast, right? Okay, it was fast for you. I'm gonna wind the wires around the arm and attach those with yet some more UV resin. Awesome, right? <laughs> I have this teeny tiny little eyelet. I'm gonna make sure that everything fits around it or through it because I would like to put that on the gold chipboard. And again, UV resin. I fed the wires through one of my one, two, three blocks and used magnets to keep everything situated in the right configuration while I paint on some of the UV resin so that everything is attached to that back base plate. And it looks great. Let's test it out. And it's very much like the one I made for the book nook. I hope you enjoyed the projects today. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I will catch you all really, really soon in the next video. Bye, guys.